Luca has been founding companies and startups since he was 19 in the US, in Germany, and in Europe. Today, he is head of growth at Pentabank. He was able to raise $500,000 within a short time, and then he was able to burn up uh, his startup within three years. And how all of this happened and what he learned, he will share with us tonight. Luca, we are very happy to have you here. So please give a warm welcome to Luca Ivicevic. Thank Do you have the clicker? Yeah. Let's put this here. Hey guys. So as Natalie was mentioning, uh, my name is Luca. I'm currently the head of growth at Penta. But today I'm not going to be speaking about Penta. This has nothing to do with Penta. Uh, but at Penta, what we're doing is we're building a digital bank for startups and businesses in Germany and all across Europe. You can go to our website at getpenta.com. But yet again, it has nothing to do with Penta today. And um, so I wrote an article about a year and a half ago called How to Destroy Your Startup in 15 Easy Steps. And I wrote it on the New York Observer just to kind of get this current startup, Penta, up and running. And uh, I got a lot of attention from that. People were saying, wow, you really are a fuck up. And uh, I was able to essentially meet people like Natalie and the fuck up team to come speak to you guys. So today, I'm gonna, for the sake of this presentation, I'm going to shorten it down to how to destroy your startup in three easy steps. So here I go. I raised $500,000 in 19. I was on my way to change the world. Two years later, I'm broke, unemployed, living with my girlfriend and her parents. Everything I'm speaking about today, I've experienced firsthand through my startups, as well as, the, as well as the other startups that I've been involved in. This is my story, and it's all my fault. So here I go. Here are three ways how to destroy your startup. Number one, the Mark Zuckerberg syndrome. I was so scared that somebody was going to steal my idea that I didn't tell my girlfriend what I was working on for nine months. When my team and I had meetings, we would turn off our phones, put them in the bathroom, wrap them around a towel, and put them in the washing machine, and close the door, just in case somebody was tapping our phones. I slept with a chair blocking my door because I thought somebody was going to kill me to steal my idea. I really believed this. But ultimately, two years later, and $500,000 later, stupidity and secrecy killed us. We released a prototype to 30 people, and everyone absolutely fucking hated it. They had no idea what we were building. We had no more money left. All 500,000 was gone, and we felt like shit. And what I learned was that nobody really cares about your idea because people have ideas of their own, and the only time they'll actually start caring about your idea is when you have a massive amount of initial traction, above 50,000 users. But until then, the most important thing you can do is to speak to people. Get as much feedback as possible. Just speak to people as much as possible, to your friends. Scream it out. Get as much feedback as you can. Otherwise, you'll end up like me. Number two, lying, cheating, and stealing. Eight months into my first startup, and I wanted to disappear. I stopped eating, I lost all my friends, and I was crying several times a week. But I was too scared to change. It started out of fear, fear from confronting my problems. I hid things from my team because I thought I knew best. I was scared that others were going to slow me down, that others were going to say no. I refused to talk about the hard things with my team because the funny thing about hard things is the hard things are really hard to speak about. And startups, they're just like romantic relationships. They fall apart because of problems in communication. So the most important thing you can do as a startup, or as any, really, as, as any company really, is to speak to your employees and to speak to your teammates as much <clears throat> as, much as possible. Otherwise, things are bound to implode. 
So just don't lie, cheat, and steal. Speak to people as much as possible. Number three, the team. So entrepreneurs often read about Steve Jobs, and they read his biography and all that stuff, and they think he's a tyrant. They think he's a Joseph Stalin, right? So they go around telling their team that they're shit. You are shit. That was his famous quote, shit, right? But if you tell your team that they're shit, the only thing you're going to get in return is shit. And either way, that's not how Steve Jobs did it. Steve Jobs empowered his team. He told his team what you're outputting is shit is because you're the best in the industry. I know you can do better than that. And he empowered them. He pushed them to a new level. On the other hand, I lied. I really did tell my team their shit, and I brought them down. I never gave credit to anybody for any work that they did. I hid things from my team and my investors. I flew to California twice a month to have a meeting, and I'd fly back the same day. I dined in expensive restaurants because I had a business. I took meetings with every single person that wanted to have a meeting with me. I spent money on lawyers to patent and trademark things for a product that didn't even exist. Ultimately, I emptied out the bank, and I fucked up. And when I reflect on all the stupidity that I've done, the things that I executed on with absolute perfection were the things that actually ended up killing us, such as not telling a soul what our idea was, or hiding things from my team, or flying to California and doing this type of stupidity. And what I realized was that hard things and hard decisions are hard to get right. And easy decisions, they're usually the decisions that end up killing you. But as entrepreneurs, we do things because they're hard, not because they're easy. And hard decisions, they take a long time to get right. It takes guts, it takes intuition, and it takes lots of luck. But never settle, never accept your situation, because life could always be better. Thank you.